Here we go then. Wolf Knight versus Morosophos on Graphite. We've just seen an incredible rage quit from Morrow within the first minute. And yeah, here we go. 2020 era demo. Basically the Dark Ages of Xenotic. We are going to be watching Wolf Snipe. So back to my roots for a little bit of um, countless Wolf Snipe demos. Morrow is probably going to push quite hard this game, I would imagine. From the I'm not going to rage quit bit, you can only imagine that the pushes are going to come quite thick and fast and push really strong in. So hopefully it's not too egregious. That was a nice pick. That's a great corner to pick on. I always seem to bugger it up and get spun around from the back whenever I try it. Nice attempted play there from Wolfie. You can get some pretty big damage flying high there if you can catch your opponent off guard. Got good timing on this item. I'm not sure if got any idea when the Mega's up. Morrow does seem to have that one under control. That jump is absolute bollocks. It is so difficult to pull off. Hopping up there. I think I practiced it for a solid 10 minutes as we get the first frags on the board. And it's a mutual rocket to rocket. Lovely move there. Getting out, should pick this up, goes and grabs both the items, and now they're on a rotation, we know that. That gives a big advantage here to Wolfie over Morrow. Morrow is going to be likely to... Yeah, he's not playing quite as aggressive as I thought he was going to, but he's certainly not holding back. Morrow is quite a passive player tends to hold back but gonna be almost given that mega there and he's who's good who got that i think wolfie got that and then took a direct rocket to the face for the trouble so nicely played so far i do apologize for the slight lag coming out of this it is unfortunate but the ping situation as you can tell is not great Nice shot there. There's some great corners to play prediction on in this map. And it's also a great map for moving around because everywhere leads to at least two other places. And with the teleporters it can be even more. You know, wh whichever entrance you go to, there's multiple places that that entrance then leads to. Even if he is just looping back round. Uh, it means that you can kind of chase people around the map or you can pull, try and guess where they're going, but they might have a chance to get away from you. It makes for a really interesting chase when the game is close in terms of stack, which this one kind of still remains. Uh, I thought we'd see Wolfie manage to get a bit more control off the back of taking the Mega after the mutual frag, but at the minute, Morrow seems to have managed to pull that back in. But Wolfie is getting the damage out. That's the key thing if we look at the scoreboard. Wolfie is the one pushing the damage, but at the minute he's taking damage. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was kind of obviously going to happen. Ignore the massive ring. I really need to fix that. Just hope that nobody uses the machine gun very often. So it's back to playing cautious from Wolfie now, I guess. Morrow's finding all the items. And has a chance to push in. Pretty nice push there. Wolfie just can't connect with any shots on the ground. No prediction. Morrow is pretty difficult to predict. But at the same time, just seems like Wolfie can't 
quite figure out which way he's going, but that's absolutely beautiful. Two air shots, and a, I got to put that down to lag. I mean, we see in that death image the ping go up to 180. I think I saw there, uh, and some packet loss. So it is unfortunate. Were you still playing on um, on 4G at this point? Right, like you've got to be right. Because this is Eastern European versus Eastern European. This isn't. This isn't America. <laughs> but it feels like it's an Australian playing on a UK server <laughs> at the minute. Though I do have to say, if anybody's looking at this thinking, "Oh, I'm going to have to play on bad ping." When you're actually playing the game, it doesn't look this bad. It's just the recordings. Um, the recordings tend to be very jerky because they do wait for information from the server and use a bit less time. Whereas your actual game will be interpolated and very smooth. And I played against Wolfie while he was lagging like this a fair few times. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. I've also played in America on 250 ping over to the East Coast. Four all the scoreline. Three and a half minutes left in the game. And Wolfie's playing this super conservatively because I think Morrow does have pretty much all the control that he would want right now. Wolfie not even going to be able to take that 50 armor because Morrow's going to have it. Just been left with the scraps of 25s. You can see the difference on the scoreboard. He's done more damage, but he's really not done much damage since he was three frags in the lead. Three frags in the lead with uh, 1,300 damage, now only 2,000 damage. It was a good try. It was a well-placed try. Manages to land a few sort of warning shots tomorrow. Morrow doesn't want to push in at the minute. Which is... It is something that Morrow definitely... Definitely has done in the past when I've played him uh, and seen him play. Holds off on pushing. Even if he's got all of the armor and all of the health in the world he won't push for a fight he's gonna wait until he catch you off guard so that wasn't him pushing for a fight that just happened to be bumping into wolf snipe and then taking the fight as it landed and same there he's unlikely to really go in you see he's trying to keep the distance not you know Taking the fight because the fight's there and you know you've got it as well in that situation you know that that's a fresh spawn uh, with no health. But. Yeah. Mara's going to do damage from afar. That's what I'm trying to say. That is what I'm trying to say. I'm having a terrible brain day today. That jump is so difficult. Honestly. I think after this game. I'm going to go. Give it a go. and Just to remind myself. Quite how difficult that jump is. Because I remember. Get, practicing it for 10 minutes. Uh. To try and get it somewhat consistently. I don't think he ever did. Oh, unfortunate shot there. Nice shot from Morrow. If we try to play conservatively, manages to get the shot on Morrow. Unfortunately, just a tad too late to stop him from taking the item. A great position for him to have taken there, though. You can certainly, with exactly what Wolfie was trying to do, hit the player before they take the item, and it will knock them off of that pedestal. They won't pick up the item. Uh, and you got half a chance. Some nice shots going out there. Wolfie doing a good bit of damage, but it is definitely going to be way too little too late. Does have the item timing. Gets the item with the air shot. Might be able to score this frag, but no, Morrow's going to get the flick rail. 
finish him off. You've got 10 seconds left to go. The scoreline is definitely going. Morrow hasn't rage quit. And played a really, really good tactical game. Throughout the whole of that. It was a difficult one to figure out and to commentate. Because of the inability to see what the hell Morrow was doing. With the whole tactics going around. But pretty good game. Well played from Wolf Snipe. Two fairly similar play styles, but quite passive. Uh, but with Morrow preferring to do damage from afar completely, and Wolfie will push when it comes to it. And if, if the fight is on, Wolfie will take the fight. Yeah, good matchup. Thank you very much for sending that in. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next commentary, or whatever it is. Ta-ra.